I will present today the results of the OX study, which is a phase three trial looking at the comparison of atezolizumab, which is a PDL1 inhibitor, uh, compared to docetaxel for pretreated non small cell lung cancer patients. This study is the first study assessing the activity of a PDL1 inhibitor. It's also the largest study in the, this setting, uh, second line or third line uh, treatment for non small cell lung cancer patients. This trial uh, met uh, its primary endpoint. There was two co-primary endpoints. The first one was the efficacy of the, uh, the drug in an unselected populations. And in this patient's population, there was a strong survival benefit for the atezolizumab compared to docetaxel with an hazard ratio of 0.71. And the median overall survival uh, goes up from 9.6 months for the docetaxel to 13.8 months for the atezolizumab R, meaning a benefit of more than four months, which is a clinically meaningful benefit for the patients. The co-primary endpoint was to look at the, the, the overall survival in the patient's populations expressing PDL1 in at least 1% of the tumor cells or the tumor yeah, immune infiltrating cells. And the co-primary endpoint was also met with also an hazard ratio of 0.74 in these patients' populations and median overall survival increased by five months in this patient's population. In fact, the benefit was seen in all the subgroups of patients, whatever their PDL1 expression, and the same hazard ratio was also seen for the patient with no or minimal PDL1 expression. The duration of response was favoring the treatment with atezolizumab, with a duration of, of response of 16 months for the atezolizumab compared to six months in the docetaxel arm. And the safety profile was quite good with less uh, grade 3-4 adverse events for the atezolizumab, 15% compared to 41% for the docetaxel arm, and there was no treatment-related death for the atezolizumab, and there was also less adverse events leading to withdrawal, delay, or discontinuation of, of the drug. I think the data presented at ESMO this year are very important data because immunotherapy is a field that evolves very uh, quickly, and the data presented in first line opens a new uh, era in the field of immunotherapy. Probably this uh, type of immunotherapy will be limited to patients with high PDL1 expression, if we believe the data uh, presented with pembrolizumab, and probably it will change our way to select the patients. Probably the patients will should have a PDL1 expression at the diagnosis, then probably a part of these patients will go to immunotherapy in monotherapy first line, and then we have other patients that could be eligible either for chemotherapy alone or combo of chemotherapy plus immunotherapy or maybe for combo of immunotherapy and immunotherapy and a lot of trials are ongoing including trials with atezolizumab. There are several trials ongoing with atezolizumab, either in a, a first line monotherapy or in combination with chemotherapy. There are trials also looking at uh, uh, the adjuvant uh, setting. And I think that in this field, the atezolizumab seems maybe to provide some additional activity compared to the other uh, type of immunotherapy, but we have still to learn. Uh, on how to manage and how to select these patients. Probably the immuno-oncology of precision is coming soon.